Sometimes living in this city is more trouble than it's worth. There's a new sheriff in town, and he's waging his own personal war against crime. Dodging the law is part of the game, but Sheriff Gorman Truarts changed the rules. He's enlisted the aid of a separatist sect of the Hammers called Mechanists. Every bit as fanatical as Hammerites, and twice as industrious. They've been supplying Truart with some really nasty contraptions, like slaves of copper and brass that hunt and kill at his bidding. Tonight I even the odds. The Mechanists have set up a shop in a wealthy section of town called Dayport. Word has it that somewhere inside their tower are the plans for a new creation. A toy for the sheriff that's so deadly it will bring every honest thief in the city to his knees. I intend to break in and steal the schematics before the project ever hits the assembly line. But there's more to it than goodwill for my fellow criminals. To win supporters, the Mechanists are throwing a posh banquet for the local nobility. And I've just invited myself. With so many rich countesses and lords in one place, I'll be like a kid in a candy store. The streets are pretty hot these days, so I'll take to the rooftops and approach the tower from above. If I cut through a building or two, I won't win any popularity contest, but then they don't call it the Thieves' Highway for nothing. So, our objectives. The streets are crawling with the sheriff's men these days. Keep to the rooftops to avoid arrest. A wealthy exporter is in Dayport for a few days on business. Lucky for you, he's storing a bounty of uncut diamonds in the Dayport Trader's Bank. Grab them. Infiltrate the Mechanist Tower. Locate and steal the Mechanist Schematics. Between the Mechanist Tower and the houses of Dayport, tonight should be a pretty good haul. Grab 1200 worth of loot. You're a thief, not a murderer. Go kill any servant or nobility. When your objectives have been completed, get out of the tower and back to the city. I think if I just quickly check the expert, uh, it brings the loot target up to 1700, and of course, a true professional doesn't leave a mess, mess don't kill anyone. But uh, that usually requires a little more conservative play from me, which takes longer and is. Uh, I don't know, I, li I like to occasionally deal with guards with uh, sharp pointy things if I need to. So I'll stick on hard. So, 2000 gold. Uh, what do we all have? We've got tons of stuff. Should be plenty of water arrows. Um, oh, gas arrows are very expensive though. Well, I'll probably need a healing potion because I'm going to be playing carelessly. Uh, uh, actually, I will take a fire arrow. Yep. Probably just the one. I have a specific use for my mind. No. Well, I know I can get some more. I'm pretty sure I can get some more. Um, rope arrows. I've got five. That's probably plenty. Moss arrows. Don't really need any of this stuff. Let's grab another healing potion. Yeah, let's take some gas arrows. And 200 left. Uh, I guess I will. Yeah, let's grab another flash bomb. Cool. So, this is level is uh, an early version of the one called Life of the Party uh, in Thief 2. Uh, the designer of this level was uh, Emil Pagliarulo, uh, who later went on to be the lead designer of Fallout 3 and Skyrim, and possibly Fallout 4, I'm not sure. But a bunch of stuff changed in this level. First, uh, you start in the clock tower just like this, but we have a couple of ways we can go here. We can come back here, there's a ledge along there we can go around, There's uh, whereas in the uh, final version of the map you really can only go straight forward. My run, is, my run key is not working. I have to fix that. Before I fix that, let's just hear Garrett's uh, line. Hey, the city looks almost bearable from up here. Yeah, so do you, Garrett. 
All right, let's fix my keys. Actually, you know what? No, no let's, let's, let's walk by default. Let's just try that. Okay, now I can run. Great, so I could go straight ahead and across that plank. I can see a guard in the distance there. And I've forgotten how to zoom. Never mind. Well, here's one way to zoom. I'm not going to shoot him, but uh, there he is. Now, this little area is completely gone in uh, the final thing, but I'm not, I can't remember if there's anything here or not. Beyond a long fall to the ground. go down there. I don't think there's any reason to be out that level. Let's check. Oh, there's a ladder. How nice. So this is not the original uh, demo, as I said, because uh, running that would be a pain and recording it would probably be even worse. Using the older versions of the Thief Engine tended to not go well with recording. First, they didn't have widescreen, they didn't have high res, but uh, it would usually rendered differently on the menus and the cutscenes to the actual game and you know you were lucky to get the game recorded and generally the menus and cutscenes were not fixable but uh, a pain at the same time so I could try I think that's uh, wood right it certainly looks like wood yeah so let's I can't remember if it's possible to get up on top of this clock tower Whoops. Not if, you, not if you climb like that, Garrett. Get on that rope. There we are. And let's grab my other. This might be the top of the world. I'm not sure. Yeah, I can't climb up high enough. Never mind. Garrett, kindly get on that rope again. I don't want to waste my rope out. Thank you. All right, let's, let's make a move. So... Although the going straight ahead is also an option in the final version of this level, that guard post over there just doesn't exist. Um, I'll go, go check that out in a minute. First I'm going to come around. Up, up around here. Now that's low. I should be able to get on top of that, right? Hmm. If that's the top of the level, there's probably not enough room to stand. And there's nothing up there, as far as I remember. However, here we have an open window. Nope, nope, it's just a little ledge above. Window shaped ledge above the doorway. Okay, never mind. There's an, there's an open window somewhere around. Oh, I see a guard. Does he see me? Nope. Oh, he saw something. I think he's not sure what it was. So I think uh, some acrobatics is in order to get over there. So this entire pathway I'm on now and this building here with the sloping roof doesn't exist in the final version of this level. Although half of the building that guard is in does. It connects to, there's an open window right in the distance over there. That open window still exists, and it connects inside here. Yes. I don't need to put the thing out, but I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna leap on this roof, which I can't stand on, but I can fall noisily off. <sighs> What's that weird beam thing? Says Tiny Blob. Uh, which weird beam thing? Describe it better. Oh, that's a weird beam thing up there. That's some kind of weird magical scientific power source light thing. Never really explained. Uh, 
Oh, we'll, we'll go up there in a minute and you'll get a close look at it. Alright, this guy is take, don't take too long for my liking. What was that noise? It was nothing. Well, there's not stairs to you here. I just, I've forgotten. It's been so long since I've been in this uh, map. Since I've played the level. I still remember some of the secrets that are in this version of the level and not in the later version, which is always frustrating when I'm drunk. Hey, what are you doing? You're supposed to be facing the other way. I know I did. Actually, this is a bad place to go because I can't escape from here. Come and chase me up the ladder, dude. Oh, that's right. That's a sleeping guard. And he wakes up, uh, I think, if I pick the locks. Oops, the shortcuts are different, so they're 4 or 5 now for the lock picks. I was using a 6 or 7 before, so I keep picking up my flash bombs by mistake. So I come back out here, uh, off this window, but we'll come back to that area later. There's another open window there. I think this guard is good. Well, I said I think he's given up, but he hasn't. He's uh, still hunting for me. Dude. Give it up already, I just want to get behind you. No? Yeah. So, one of the uh, unfortunate things about this being the, uh, a rebuild of the map with the newer Thief Engine is it's not going to have some of the hilarious bugs, I don't think. Uh, one of the bugs that uh, got me killed several times in the in the alpha was which is instantly which is odd because it would uh, was fixed I think at the final release of Thief 1 but existed in the Thief 1 demo as well I'm not 100% sure where is this guy if I need to I'll drop a flash bomb at him yeah, he's still looking at me so come on turn around dude turn around does he turn around Oh. All right, you're in. Oh, oh, ha, ha, ha. Fuck it. I know he was blowing myself with those. Whatever, I blinded him too. It's fine. Anyway, I should have just run out the window. There's really no reason not to, because there's no more loot in that building. Wait, unless is that the one I'm thinking of? With the extra secret. Oh, there is loot there. Oh, look at that. Not a secret, but actually loot. Let's run a robot. So in the original alpha, it's like, it was a bug with rope arrows, and it uh, got me killed a lot. And if you, like, ran and jumped into them, you would generally bounce off at incredibly high speeds, flying backwards. Uh, quite hilarious. But not really... Not really desirable. Let's get back. Not here. Another interesting difference is, although this little area and window exists in the final version, that's just a single room with nobody but, uh, that, I think that same guard with the arrow in it. It doesn't have any other connections, the staircase is gone. And this ladder, which is quite easy to get on a climb here, has been moved into the corner on the stone wall and is a real pain. Right, here's a weird beam thing. So, where would we have come from? Back this way, I believe. Or is it this way? I always get lost. I have a compass, I shouldn't get lost. Let me check the map. So, the bell tower is to the south of us. Okay. So, the bell tower is back that way. Yeah. Uh, can you even see it? Yeah, I can just see it over there. So I'll come back this way. This is uh, more like this is where we would have come if we'd taken the elevator at the start. I should be careful here. Shouldn't be too noisy. Firstly, we've got guards on the other side of that door. Secondly, I think there's someone asleep here. Now look, there's an enormous gap here with this ledge, and when I played this the first time, or well, the first few times, I fell down there so often because it's easy just to 
land right on the edge. And the final version, they removed the gap. They made the ledge nice and wide, so no problem. Alright, here, get out of there. Let's steal all this guy's cheese and see if he's got any money to steal. Oh. Maybe it's not locked. It's not locked. Can't pick a lock if it's not locked, right? Well, I could lock it again, in theory. So this fella's patrolling around and it's a little too bright here. Nobody. Nobody goes here. It's good. There's nothing to see. So this little section with the guard post there and this patrolling guard, that sheriff, is also completely gone. Oh, he saw me. Goodbye. Yep. Now, I'm sure I remembered another little, uh, another house around here, which I could break into. That could be wrong. There's the bell tower again. We haven't really missed much by coming here. It's a long way down to the streets, and uh, we should normally die if we fall in, but uh, there are places in, this, in uh, this map, I believe, where it's possible to fall down without dying. And again, there might be bugs in the alpha that haven't made it to this rebuilt version of the map. Anyway, well, he's given up on hunting us, but... Uh, he will turn around and see us if we're quick. So let's be quick. Oh, his friend has seen us and is shooting at me. Whoops. Yeah, dog meat. Alright. Don't shoot me, sir. I'm just a harmless thief. Come back out here, you tapper. Damn it. Where'd he go? Get up there. Give up. No. Well, I don't need to deal with him. I don't think any of those actually open. So there's nothing, no loot reasons to uh, knock him out or anything. So I'm just going to run for it and I'll find you. See if he, see if he actually can find me. Hello. Is there anything here? Probably not. No. Nope. All right, goodbye, sir. And I've been in there. All right, let's move on. Oh, he's shooting at me still. <laughs> From all the way over there. I had an arrow hit some stone and wondered what it was. Uh, weird, beamy, powering, lighty thing. The technology in Thief 2 is never really explained. It's kind of cool, you know, it's just a thing. It works. Well, that doesn't work. Ah! Uh, let's reload. Where did I save? Oh, I hadn't even knocked the guy out. No, I need to. Let's just run for it. Hey, dude. Don't think you can just vanish. Ouch. Goodbye, guys. Right, let's not fall off this time. Where's my cheese? Alright. So, what ways do we have forward? There's a ledge over there, which I, I came out that window but didn't really examine the ledge, and there's this window here. That ledge connects to a higher ledge. That looks like it needs some acrobatics. Let's try it. One thing that is definitely worse in the demo is uh, the uh, mantling. I mean, it's not so much the mantling, it's like the heights of, of some things uh, is not ideal for mantling, so falling off places like that is unfortunately too easy. Can I mantle? Can I just jump that? Nope. Nope. Let's rip it. <laughs> so
So, yeah, before I explore that building, I'm just going to run up here. Um, and anybody who has played either, any version of this mission knows what's happening here. And I'm telling you that the only stench hardier than your rotting barrack of a master is the liquor on his fetid breath. If he comes near Lady Van Vernon again, we'll boil his knickers! Oh, mighty fine words coming from a knock-kneed inbred page boy such as yourself. Our good master Willie wouldn't be caught near that frumpy little trollop unless you were holding her back at the end of a halberd. How dare you defile the name of someone so good and virtuous as the Lady Van Vernon! Our lady is a saint among mortal women, an angel so pure the heavens couldn't hold her. <laughs> your lady? An angel? You're lucky the dark side whore keeps aren't bashing down your lady's door for stealing their clientele. Why, just last night I saw her out back warming up the stable boy. Such slander will not be tolerated while we're on watch. You'd best run and rescue your helpless limp lord before he founders in his own vomit or wakes up naked in a hen coop. Scurry off or he'll require some unnecessary ventilation. Is that a threat, you shriveled old maid? You gonna prick us with your sewing needles? On this side of the street, we shoot like soldiers, so don't make promises your arrows can't keep. You've gone! You've gone too far this time, you camel man of tunic wedding molly cuddle! An arrow in the throat and I'll shut you up! What the hell are you doing here? Ah. Didn't even scratch! You'll have to do better than that, Capper! Oh. Ah. Well, they're quite right. When I find you, I'm gonna take my time with you. On that side of the street, they clearly do shoot like soldiers. Something's going on. Uh, so that that encounter has survived to the final version of the map. Although for some reason they changed the voice actor on the guy in purple there. Um, probably does a slightly better acting job, but uh, the read is a bit. The pacing is weird. I prefer this version. Anyway, those those people always fight. The outcome is. Somewhat random. I've had one team win. I've had the other team win. I've had them all, you know, two the last two, one in each die, and then the last two kill each other with the simultaneous arrows. The worst was when I was playing once on uh, expert, and there was one guy still left alive, and I just wanted him pacified out of the way. So I went to blackjack him, and, and uh, his health was so low that the blackjack killed him, and I lost the mission. Let's check out this place while those other guys come down. Now there is someone in here, I can hear them. I think they just stay downstairs. And a healing potion. That might come in handy. Well, I don't need to knock anyone out, do I? Let's see if I can just sneak this bit. So this particular secret here does not exist in the final version of the mission. And you can't use your sword on ropes. Forget about that. Or maybe... How do I knock that down then? I don't know. Maybe I can use my sword on the rope. I swing it first. Yes. Oh, there's no secret there. What? I'm sure there was a secret there. Hmm... Oh, well, maybe I will need to knock down to your pass. It's kind of in the way. I've got to sworn there should have been a secret there. I'm befuddled now. Maybe I got it the wrong way around. Maybe there's a secret there in the final version, not in this version. Anyway, that's just where we came through earlier. Uh, came out that window, went along the ledge there. So there's nothing else down here that I know of. Sleep well. Maybe there's a very small staircase with a bow that does have a secret. I don't know. <laughs> so the soldiers on the left are dead, but the soldiers on the right are still a problem if they see us. So let's go down this ladder. So these ladders in the uh, New Dark version are a lot more reliable as well. They're getting stuck on ladders and having to jump off them or. Failing to grab the- oh god, ladders were all falling thief. But 
uh, I've been nicely patched. Who's out of here? Are you walking in this building? So those guys are not looking my way, right? So if I'm quiet, I can just sneak behind them. Right? And steal the arrows out of their uh, quivers. Yeah, my thoughts exactly, but where am I going to go? Well, maybe there's somebody down at street level. <sighs> Something there. No. Oh, nothing there. All right, I'm just going to knock him out. It'll, uh, it'll be make this easier. Freeze! Money. All right, uh, so I could make a flying leap across to that buttress, or put a rope in it first, probably, uh, and then across to this little castle place, or I could leap across to this ledge and hopefully grab it. But I believe there's some loot in the building there, so I'm just going to come back and cross the street up where these guys are having the effect. Oops, come on. Uh, the the run versus walk controls are being a little bit weird, and so I'm occasionally walking when I need to mean to run and vice versa. And might cause me to die sometimes, you yeah. know. That's such as life. Yep, a little bit of loot. And a light switch for all good it does. I think from here on in, with one exception, I think the geometry is basically the same in this version of the map as the final one. And the exception is when we get to the far north, um, where we've got a lot of places to go. But we're really trying to get all the way north to the Mechanist Tower, which is uh, just north of this part of the map. Which... Hmm. Let's, let's go this way, let's go there. The acrobatic route. <laughs> so according to the map, we're very near we're at Castle Van Vernon, Vernon and Master Willie's Manor of course, because they're across the street. And that place with the crenellations that I was looking at would be what what's my directions here? That's north. Is the Fieldstone Estate, maybe? I don't think it's Castle Carlisle, is it? I don't know. Maybe it's Castle Carlo. Looks sort of castly. Alright, let's uh, save in case I don't pop up the jump. But no, I'm alright this time. Can I make that jump, do you think? I don't think so. I think I need a rope. Oh, and I can make the jump. Whoa! Well, there's that bouncing off the rope uh, thing I mentioned. I thought they would have fixed that bug. Rubber ropes. This is why I save. Well, that's better. I'm surprised that bug still exists. Oh, what's down there? Hmm. Well, I can get there from there. All right. Well, sir, you are a guard. You're not my friend. What's that? Who goes? Oh. Move. Sorry, You're you saw dead. me. Don't try it. Guard. Goodbye. I don't think there's anything to actually steal down here, is there? No. So I need to wait for this guy to come down. And 
He's not going to come down while I'm still in the area, right? Certainly not while I'm still in the area. Oh, he's got arrows. No, sir. Ow. Yeah, that didn't work. Let's be more sneaky, right? Hey, what was that noise? Nothing. Let's steal your key. Get here, then. Oh, you got a friend. He's got an arrow for me. Well, that's better. So what do we got over here? Oh yeah. There's a guard in there. Oh, there's a ladder over there. I'm gonna go that way afterwards. I think. But this way is also a good way to go. So I can I where's my key? Where's my key? I said estate key, so this must be the Fieldstone estate. Whoa! What's going on? There's nothing going on there. Just somebody trying to break in. No, I stopped. Guess it was nothing. So just just the one of you. Doesn't even suspect anything when the door closes in his face. Right, let's steal your monies. All of it. And they'll suspect you because the door will still be locked. Yeah, they might they might wonder why these guys are asleep. Well sir, uh, have your key back. I don't need it anymore. Alright, I'll go that way shortly. I'll come and check out these guys first. Quiet, you lumbering box. You're making enough racket to wake the whole of Dayport. Well, it's dark, and I can't seize what I'm lifting. What you'll see is the haft of my sword across your brow if you don't hurry things up. There's a guard in the building, and we're both skewered if he hears you. Alright, alright. But I got to me a question. Do we want the gold? Or the jewelry? We want whatever you can carry, you tapper. Now hurry it along before we're seen. Or maybe you want to spend a lifetime or two in the sheriff's company? The sheriff? Where? Oh, just hurry it up already. Well, well, housebreakers. How quaint. Very quaint indeed. Oh, there's a guard in the building. That's convenient. If we were to find I know you're out there. that guard, we're gonna have fun gutting you, boy. Well, there's a guard. Does he go upstairs? Can we perhaps? I'll find you got you any eventually. idea what we do to unwelcome guests? <laughs> He's gonna go up there and come back down again. This doesn't really work for me. Because he doesn't actually patrol the uh, apartment that they're breaking into. So I'm just gonna wait for him to come down and head down to the next floor, and then I'm gonna go open the door so next time he comes upstairs, he sees them. Then they can fight. And then he gets to do his job properly. Thieves have gone out of here already. They must have gone chasing after me over there. I guess that means I can uh, steal their loot. What's that? Do you have any loot here, sir? 
I now spotted what him. What the hell are you doing here? Get him! Hello? Show yourself. Nothing making noise now. <laughs> Hello, sir. Uh, can you see these thieves if you look out the window? No? Oh, oh, he wasn't supposed to go for me. Alright, whatever. I was trying to... Yeah, I'm running scared and hurt. I was trying to kind of alert you to these guys out here, but uh, it did not work. Well, they can see me too. Alright, uh, I need an escape route. I'm gonna run and hide. Run! No! Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> that, hurt. That, that hurt, guys. It wasn't very nice. Honestly, I should need to get back up here. Scared, huh? Well, not so much scared as desirous of preserving my skin. Now, you seem like in the couple of nice fellows, but I see a, a window over there. So, you know what? I think I'm going to check it out. After him! <laughs> You're gonna learn what pain is all about. You're gonna forget that I'm here very shortly. Where does this go? Forever, you are. Oh, hello. Where did he go? Damn it! I think that's Castle Carlo. Just poke your head out. I'll end it for you quick, like. Damn. Where did he go? Where did he go, indeed? Yeah, that's that's the west. Yeah, because we're just coming out of the apartments. Yeah, I believe this little past where I don't think it exists in the final version, but I don't remember. For sure. Yeah, this is a little unfamiliar. So the Thief to Demo was the first I ever played Thief. Um, well, what, back in 2000, I guess. And for quite a long time, it was all we had. And I, I don't know, I played this umpteen times. Uh, but it has now been a very long time since I played it, and I've played the final version of the, the level in the final game a lot more often, and that's now the version I remember better. Give up, guys. I've gone. But if you still want to chase me, here I come. Be quick. <laughs> Not quick enough. Scared, huh? You're gonna learn what pain is all about. Well, if you had some arrows, maybe you'd be right. I'm gonna learn what escaping is all about. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, back to this ledge that I saw before. This is my least favorite part of the entire map, and you'll find out very soon why. Now let's avoid... alerting this guard with noise. So, in the final version of the map, I believe there's a keeper in there, or maybe there's more burglars. It's not a guard, at any rate. But, down here is where, where the problem lies. I have a go over that. Hear that? Look at that. Hello there, Spidey. You, are you having fun down there? Someone there? Yeah, there is, but they're busy. I think you will die. I can't remember if there's baby spiders down here. Uh, I don't think so, they would have heard me. But, uh, the spiders in Thieves still freak me out. And I don't like them. And I think it's just a rope arrow in here. I think there maybe there's some coins on the floor, I don't know. It's very hard to see. I can't remember whether there's a loot in here or not. Well, what do you know, there's a ring. Yeah, there's a loot, alright. Let's get back out. Oh, and a moss arrow. Any more moss arrows? Yeah. The spider is also not here 
on the final version of this mission. So it's the only really a bit that I do prefer. Now this this I have to break this window. Oh, I'm pretty sure the guy's gonna hear that. No? Oh the door must have been shut. Right, let's do this, I think, the easy way. Die! Oh, oh no, 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 I don't want to die. That's not what I meant when I said the easy way. Alright, let's waste another. Come back out here, you. That's it. You've had it. Hey. Take that. Ouch. Wasted flash bombs. Uh, wasted some health. Ah, whatever. Oh, I don't need bloody flares. Go away. There was some loot, though. Not entirely wasted. Oh, and I still have a healing potion. You know, last one. I'm really not playing very well. That's fine. Let's go up the slider instead. It looks exciting and metal and noisy. And... Very nice indeed. Jump! There, no splash. Garrett, the silent jump, the silent uh, swimmer. Turn the knob. And the door opens. Oh, yes. Who's there? <laughs> There's nobody here. Oh, but it's just not fair. The season's most ballyhooed social event, and we're not even invited? I am a Rothschild. Don't they understand that? Don't they understand how incredibly important I am? Shh, shh, I know, I know, dear. But there will be other banquets. Besides, it's not as if we intend to join their silly religion or anything. Oh, it's not that. It's just that, well... Yes, my snookums? Oh, Pumpkin. The Mechanist invited the Bumblesons. The Bumblesons! I mean, they haven't been in the inner circle in years. Now, Frederick, don't you think you're overreacting just a tad? No, 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 no! I am Frederick Juniper Rothschild III, and I deserve more recognition than those commoners. Oh, I know what we'll do, my sweet. We'll throw our own ball to the abyss with those mechanists and their private affairs. Besides, they're just looking for supporters. We'll have our own banquet and invite everyone but the Bumblesons. Would that make you happy, my love? Oh, yes! What an absolutely capital idea! <coughs> well, I'll take your money. You can complain about the Bumblesons some more. Now, oh, I could maybe get back up there with a the rope. Well, I can definitely get back up there with a the rope. But we have... Tower here. Whoops! Oh, we have a misstep. I don't know when did I when did I last save? Oh, but it's just not. Oh, it's just here. Okay, the same the same uh, conversation. Let's jump across there. I'm trying not to fall off this time. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Candle fix and a fire and. Book. Well, I wonder what this book says. Aglorus current Kaglimorex the Loranasu in the end Balm Roranagor. Kalu fendit, Kalu Kalit, a kill no, a kill no Cleus, O one Naros Veor. Sigliopulanus Triopic, Ruful in Gorax, Hakanan Xanthu, Geolex Clenfoth, Er Hugenis Feroth, Fear Tun Ferunith. 
Mm, something tells me I shouldn't have read that. Hello, guys. I have a problem now. I'm surrounded by zombies. They fortunately have not seen me yet. And, uh, I have no chance to kill them. Come down to this floor. Oh, I just remembered. I forgot something. But oh, I've got more cheese. So this is the Necromancer Spire, and uh, those zombies uh, really freaked the hell out of me. Well, the very first time I played. And uh, this entire tower has left me feeling slightly nervous every time I visit it. Not, not so much because of the zombies. The first time I played it, uh, they spawned, and in my desperate panic, I ran out the window and fell to my death. That was fine, but, uh, hey guys. Where is it? Did I, did I get it? I didn't hear it. There is a secret switch hidden in here, I believe. Alright. I'll find out. I've got it. Uh, maybe, maybe that's not in the demo. I'm sure it is, though. Maybe it's on a book. I don't know. Arms. I can't remember. I'm sure it's still here. There's a way. There's another secret room down below there. But whatever. What's across here? Another another dangerous loop. So the other thing I remember is. Uh, the other reason I got freaked out at this place is I didn't really understand this lift properly, and I was just mucking about with these buttons, oh. and just suddenly, you know, stood here and died. Uh, which left me thinking there was some invisible ghost or something, but no, it was just me hitting myself on the head and crushing myself with the lift. Um, but again, left me with a lingering terror of the Necromancer's Tower, because I didn't understand the game properly. Uh, you know, those zombies are cute, you know. They're fine now. Oh, well, that's different. There's nobody there. Is that almost invisible ladder here? Don't know what you're worrying about, guard man. There's nobody here. Oh wait, we're back at the apartments. Aren't we? Are we? I'm lost again. I think so. Yeah. So that's that guard friend who was patrolling upstairs. We don't need him. Ah, uh, so I'm all turned about. Oh, that's my best. That's just the plate that I threw. So where am I trying to go? Have I been to the Sheminov estate? Uh, that's the apartment, so I need to go east. Alright, this way. Alright, let's go back. Back through the Necromancer's Tower, I think. Alright, let's go down. Not onto my head. So, the unfortunate thing about the zombies is, well, from a player point of view, is uh, you cannot easily kill them. I heard a door. Oh, it's a guard patrolling out there. All right.
<laughs> Fire arrows. Thank you. Wait till he gets back inside. Although if you can hit them with your sword well enough, or with arrows, you can knock them down. Uh, the zombies don't actually die permanently when you do that. They will just get back up again. There's some loot. That's not loot. Nobody. That's fine. Who goes there? Nobody. Oops. Hey, your friend's been hit. What was that noise? Hmm. Seems peaceful enough. I'm starting now. to see things. I'd better get some rest. Hmm. <clears throat> you have some money there. That is the bank, yeah. I'm gonna have to go there to get some diamonds but first. <laughs> Alright, I hear you. Come out in the open at once. Who are you and where are you hearing me from? This is another bit that's slightly changed. I think the final version there's a ledge down here. And uh you Nothing can actually now. get out that way. What's up? But I am going Somewhere to there? smash this mm. glass. There must have been rats in there now. Oh, <laughs> Hello. He's armed. I Somebody am indeed. Get him. Oh, no. Come on. Somebody get him. I'm worried. Strange things are like thieves. Hello, sir. Don't mind me. So clever. Yeah. I think I'm so clever indeed. Can I steal the money and get out? No, you'll be able to hit me then. <laughs> all right, I'll come back later. All right, calm down. Keeps in. Don't think you can hide for long. All right, let's go for the bank. Let's go deal with the bank. <laughs> well, if these guards were better at climbing, they'd have a chance of getting after me. Yeah, in the final version of the map, there's a ledge down uh, where that big metal sticky out thing is, and. A window into the room with the guard, so you can actually go in and knock the guard out before you break into the other side. That should be handy. Is it dark in here? It's dark enough. Where's that guard? I'm gonna wait for the guard to come back because it's just noisy. I don't like tile floors. More importantly, I'm out of health potions, so if I mess up too much... Well, I could always flash bomb him. How many flash bombs do I have? Four? That's alright, come on. If he even hears me. Oh, he's not even coming in here. Who goes there? Who made that noise? Oh, he heard, he heard me. Was nothing. Okay, you taffer. It was nothing. I'll just the wind. You. Just the wind. See? Too much coffees this morning. I'm twitchy as hell. Too Seems clear. Too much coffees indeed. <laughs> now come here. Nope. All right, that's fine. Oh, it's locked. Hey, what was that noise? That's a good question. Do I flash bomb him? Oh, where did he go? He's vanished. What's that? Who goes? 
I heard some intruder here. Oh, somebody saw me across the street. Uh, okay. Well, I've got the key. I I nearly knocked that fellow uh, down to the ground, but not quite. He'll be fine. Let me rob the bank. Lights on. All right, we have a key for the bank again. It's not is that for the safe? There's a safe. Can I pick the lock? I can pick the lock. Nothing here but the lever. That's an interesting plant arrangement. And I believe that lever opens. Let's just close that so our friend doesn't pepper me with arrows. That opens the safe here. So here are the diamonds that we need. And more money. Brilliant. There's the uh, objective complete. Oh, we've got plenty of loot now. So we just. In terms of objectives, I only need to get to the Mechanist Tower. Yeah. Right, that's the bank. So what's what's this place here? What's, where's my compass? That's east of the bank. It's east of the bank. Oh, this is the bank. There's a friend there. There's a ledge there that I could uh, explore. Along. There's a room here. Let's let's see what's in here. <laughs> Any loot? Yeah, yeah. There he is. Well, a ledge that I missed. <laughs> Again, another feature of the. Uh, Demo versus the final version, they fixed up a lot of these uh, highly dangerous places in the final version. What are you doing there? You look like you're having fun. Come and sleep in the dark corner. While I worry about your friend here. Where is your friend? Is he coming up? No? Maybe? Apparently not. He is walking <clears throat> in the sky. Sir, I'm not sure you're allowed to do that. I think that counts as cheating. Who's creeping around? <laughs> he shuts the door behind him, turns around to look. Oh, well, he just douses this light. No, oh, he's still in the sky. Ah, oh, poor fellow. Is he stuck? Will he come down if he sees me? I do not know. Don't worry. I'll find you. What if I hit him in the bum? He goes unconscious and just still does not fall. Come on, come come down to earth. Thank you. Well, that's a that's a bug. Maybe that's the maybe that's the one I'm picking up. Hmm. Yeah, didn't reach. Can I hit you from here? 
Aha, aha. Autsch. Here's a secret. Maybe that one's still there, I don't remember. Secrets behind banners, anyway. One of them existed in this version. Now, here's a question. <laughs> There's a bug in one of these chests as well. I'm going to save because uh, it is game breaking. If it's still here. Oh, I hear the question, that's nice. Uh, there's a cooking pot in one of these. Uh, they fix the bug. The bug was you, you pick up the cooking pot automatically and then you can never drop it or throw it or switch to your weapons and you're basically stuck holding a cooking pot for uh, the rest of the game. Which is hilarious, but not what's Who's intended. There? Hello? Oh, there's nobody. Hey, who was that? Do I need to come in here? Nope. Well, there's a secret passage. I'm just gonna go through it. Hello. Did that shadow loom? Who's there? What was that? Which shadow? It's the last time I jumped for rats. That's good. <laughs> All right, where am I? Facing south. Or we're at the Shimanov estate again. So, if we head west over that way, we'll end back up at the Necromancer Spire. I believe that's just up behind that area. Where's that car patrolling? He's down there. So? Was that you? No. Don't see anything now. Must have been imagining things. What are you doing walking there? That's a silly place to walk. You really shouldn't walk there, sir. You're annoying me now. If you're annoying me enough, I am just gonna deal with you. Oh, someone heard that, did they? Oh, he did. How are you planning to find me? <laughs> oh, he's got bow and arrows. That's how he's planning to find me, okay? That's answered my question. Ah, and here we are back at uh, the Rothschilds, okay. I really shouldn't have uh, wound him up because he's got a bow and arrow and that is lot, lots of potential for me to get holes poked in me. Alright, let's go back. It's been so long since I've played Thief regularly that I can no longer remember how to effectively use flash bombs without blinding myself. You know, I really should know. Thank you. I can't remember if there's loot here. No. Alright, um, oops. Back. Oh, hello. Hello? Oh. Why did just take me? Is this an empty room? Where's my flares? No. Where does this go? Oh, this is the astronomer's uh, place. Yeah. has been doing astronomy. He's got a weird little hatch where it's in it's his attic. So a chest there with uh, just a bottle, I think. 
Yeah, I don't need a bottle. Noisy. He has some boarded up passageway here. <coughs> right, we can break that. Now, have I been in this room? Yeah, I came in there before, but I didn't climb up because I forgot about that passage. And got a book, this is a diary. I'm not going to read it. But I will flip through it. And there's a secret room. Whoops, which. For some reason, you use a telescope and you get it. Now, this is different in the final version because this sunburst device uh, is in a different location, I think. I'm not even sure what I would use it for. It's uh, a critical part of a mission in the original Thief. It's an explosive. It's uh, very powerful. It will blow open even uh, very sturdy doors and things. Uh, but I don't really think it has a purpose in the demo, not, not in particular. Right, now where was I going? I was... Uh, been at the bank. Yeah, let's go back north. Let's come back down the chimney here and hey, go back to where it was. Now that we've explored this area. Leave the cook to his uh, cooking. Alrighty. There's the bank. There's our friend, the guard. It won't go that way. He's got a bow and arrow. I'll come out. I'll try and get there from the other side. Uh, for now, let's get back to the bank. Oops. And out the side. So there's this this guard here that we'd uh, alerted and I had a rope ready to climb down. So I think I can get down there now, steal the coins, and uh, not worry about the guard trying to hack my legs off as I do so. Or indeed, get down there. It's a nice soft carpet. <coughs> Knock him senseless. Who? Who is saying help? Oh, the guard in there. Okay. That's right. I came from here, right? Yeah, I came from there. No, I'm no. I don't need to fight you. Alrighty. Careful. There's another guard with a bow there down on the street. And some commoner or noble or something. Someone's shooting at me. Oh, he's shooting at me. Ah! ah! Well, Garrett, you said careful, but you weren't careful. Ah, oh, I should have saved it sooner. Alright, let's go knock this guy out again. Come out, you! I heard that! Oh, God, I didn't mean to alert you. Stay in your room. Don't worry, I'll find you. <clears throat> Take the loot. Get out. Right, now I'm going to save before walking across that. Because that was narrower than I uh, expected. Careful. Oh, are you shooting at me? Ow. 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 It's not nice, dude. Not when I can't dodge. Do I have another healing potion? Yes. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, hello, it's a greenhouse. Uh, I think the greenhouse is in a slightly different position in the uh, final version of the map as well. I don't remember it having the, uh, a way to continue on past it. I think it's just a dead end. Before I go to the greenhouse, what's up here?
Well, uh, there's a question. Well, there's the answer. It's the edge of the map. So let's go to the greenhouse. Hmm. I don't like that sound. What's the sound spiders make when they hear something dangerous? But this is not a spider to be scared of. It's Longfellow or Long Daddy or whatever his name is. Hello. I oh, know he used to be scared of. He's supposed to be friendly. What's wrong with you, dude? Maybe, maybe they messed up in the demo. Or maybe he's not friendly in the demo. He was attacking me there. I don't want to have to kill you. He's supposed to be friendly. No, oh, he's not friendly. Long Daddy. Long Daddy. It's his pet. This is uh, Gardener's pet uh, spider. Well, if he hadn't attacked me. That was a guess error. How nice. Uh, yeah. Definitely in the final version, he's not uh, hostile. But maybe that's just a, maybe that's a demo or the rebuild of the demo being different. I don't know. Oh, there's a window there. There's a window there with a guard. Was that you? No, no, no. Turn around, sir. Nothing here now. <laughs> Bloody ladders. Who is there? Is someone there? Oh well. Ah, uh, no, no, no one there. Don't know what it was. Don't open the door in your face, Garrett. Come here, Mister. <laughs> How do you like this? Oh. Come closer. Well, let's just see what's in this chest. Gold. Plan to just yet, so I won't go out that way. There's another window here. Uh, there. Just should. Oh. Ouch. I say I should be able to jump into, but uh, apparently I am just that inept. Let's use a rope. Oh, thank you. You got a healing potion for me. And a gold candlestick. And you are standing here, staring at the wall. Not doing a very effective job at being a guard. Alright, that's uh, not very much loot. That's alright. Okay. So let's go. Let's come back here. Uh, but yeah, I can look, look after yourself. I don't need it. All right, through this window then. Yeah, this this room doesn't exist in the final version of the level either. <laughs> but it looks out on this enormous building looming over the rest of the city. That's the Mechanist's Tower. So, that's the castle of the future. I'll take my tenement any day of the week. And where's my compass? Compass. Oh yeah. So we are on the south side of it, looking north. Uh, to the greenhouse or to Lady Louisa's. Now, in the final version of this map, they removed... Well, they changed the geometry around a bit, but they removed uh, that entrance I just used, all that passage to get here. And... You can only approach the tower from by going through Lady Louisa's. But 
Yeah, we have choice. We can buy the greenhouse. Let's get on the roof here. And there's a couple of other changes to. I mean, there's lots of changes in the tower because the tower is quite unfinished, both inside and out, on this version of the map. And ooh, nice gargoyles. I really should go to Lady, Lady Louise's as well. But let's just, let's jump across here first. Sure, there's a ladder. Let's me climb up to this ledge. Can I get off the ladder, Garrett? Where does this take me? I don't remember. Now, it's technically possible to jump over this and get to the other side of the ledge, but it's pretty hazardous and uh, tends to end up in uh, falls to one's death quite often. Aha! There's more ladders over there. That's where I go. Under here. an open window for us with uh, well the ladder goes up to the window but uh, is there a ledge there there is a ledge there these are strange times indeed when the builders chosen must cater to the folly of the unworthy present company excluded of course I think uh, of course personally I find the city's nobility to be pretentious pompous and filled with misconceptions about their own self-worth but it serves our purposes to stay on their good side, doesn't it, Vilnius? I have to admit, though, that their presence makes me a bit nervous. You sure the schematics are safe? Completely sure, friend Girk. They rest securely in the central office. There's a faithful brother at the door, and I carry the only key. Besides, the brethren long to put steel to flesh, for they've not tasted righteous battle in far too long. They will guard our common interests with their lives, if need be. Good. You put me at ease. Maybe I'll relax my guard a bit and partake of some of your wine. An excellent idea, friend Girk. The builder's nectar is the finest our order has to offer. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must attend to our guests. <coughs> Alrighty. So, we are on the top floor of the tower, which is the ballroom. <coughs> and, uh... Let me see if I come in here. Here we go. Why what? Okay. There are many guests partying more. And uh, the party seems to have died down a little. <coughs> but I'll deal with this sword man. Ah! Intruder! Yeah. Guards! Thief! That's Don't right. Let him escape justice! Steal anyone else's? Is someone there? Who are you? Help! Someone! Guards. There's an intruder! Thief. Yeah, come, Don't come pick their pockets while they're alone. Guards! Thief! That's right, they'll go run around. Um, what do. Are what arrows in here? I can't recall. Appears not. That just leads to the stairway, which will soon have guards coming up it. But they've alerted. Alright, um, not really a great deal of purpose in me choosing to come this way rather than go through the other entrance. So I'm going to go back down and go all the way around to Lady Louisa's, which is uh, the way that the only way into the tower in um, the final version of this map. And it's a much easier approach. This is kind of like the uh, hard way. Right there, tile floors, lots of light, lots of pocket spit, certainly, but also lots of people to see you come and go. There's a window I should try and get to. What's the best way to go there? Let's just jump that way I came. 
Do it. Careful now, this is a steep ledge. Jumping up there is not easy. Alright, uh... I don't need that. Oh wait, that's the way I came. Yeah. Can I get round here? Or do I have to go back through the building? I think I've got to go back through. Well, I could go around the edge. I can go around the edge of the tower. That's alright. But I won't. I will go the long way. Because I'm not just trying to get to the other side of the tower, I'm trying to get to Lady Louisa's. I almost killed myself here before, so let's try not make that mistake again. I don't want to go up there. No, that was just the edge of that, or the or emptiness. That's where we need to be. That's the bank. Let's go back through the bank. Let's hope our trigger happy friend or right. bowstring happy I friend doesn't see us. Come out from the open at once. <laughs> oh, almost fucked that up. Alright, we have our friend across the street, he'll probably see us and start throwing sharp things at us again, but uh, I don't need to worry about that. I can't... Hmm, can I jump up there? I think so. Let's try it. Yep. Let's try a rope. Seen us. Okay. Yeah, uh, it was nothing. I don't like this. Someone get him! No need for alarm, ladies. Just passing through. All right. So this is the now canonical approach to the Mechanist Tower. Coming in from the east, I believe. Yeah, from the east. With a bunch of metal stuff to climb on. And... Hello, friend. I don't know if you have the same behavior that I'm expecting, so I will save in case you don't. Oh, you wanna dance? Let's dance. Yeah, he's drunk. Why? What are you going to do if I don't? Uh, and his poor friend here, who is asleep in a very dangerous place. So this guy's so drunk he can't even attack. Um... Uh, and his friend here, if, uh, is precarious. In the final version of the map, that body is actually down on the ground, and I think he's dead already. Rather than really unconscious, he's just unconscious right now. But you'll be, you'll be safer down here. Oh, hey, this drunk guy, around. this drunk guy survives. Alright, let's... Climb up. And head for the tower. It is still possible in the final version to actually get in a window on the second floor up there. I don't know if it exists in this one. I'll have, to, I'll have to see. But I don't think that's an entrance that exists in the demo. Maybe. I think it's... With all the metal here and no binaries, I don't think it's possible. Right, let's jump. And go in the air vents. Ducts. Why is it always ducts?
kill some excited people. And some fireplaces. None of that matters. And I can't see a thing. That's right. We have fireplace to dance. Oh, hello there. So shall it be with all my children, whether they be stone or flesh. <coughs> Are you Frank Vilnia? You were. Oh dear, the servant came in and saw a body. Let's just make sure nobody else sees it. Alright. So... This fireplace. Can't remember this other ways through. Who's coming? Vigilance is our shield. Sleep well. So the servant fetched a guard who was not really very excited. Is this the highway? Oh, you're not coming in that door. All right. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, he's another servant just coming to the kitchen. Hello. Or not. These doors are noisy. Any hit points out of, out of this? It's a waste of time then. Alright, let's come in, turn around, and go back. Alright. Uh, Brother Vilnius has the key to the office. And I. He was standing in the kitchen, so now I have the key to the office. Alright, uh, almost done with this level now. In the final version, there's, what, six floors or something? Six, seven floors to this place, and it's enormous and problematic. Um, this version is pretty lightly populated, if I remember correctly. Oh, there's another, another way through there. Room closet. Maybe not the room closet I'm thinking of. Let's douse this. I've got a few more arrows, which means I can. <laughs> can I get up there? I think it's technically possible. It's basically, the chimney goes all the way up to the top, and uh, there's. It's a, definitely can be used as a shortcut down. I'm not sure if it's very good as a shortcut up. Can I get back over? Stop. There we go. Alright. What have we got? Locked door. Statue. A locked door. Come back there in a minute. Somebody asleep. With or without money. <gasps> Who are you? Hey, why did you wake up? <gasps> you weren't supposed to wake up. Carlisle Armory key. All right, uh, that's right. I did not break into the Carlisle Armory. Do I need to break into the Carlisle Armory? Uh, get back to the city anyway. You have a funny eye there, sir. Hello. A room with a door I get stuck on. Speed potion. Health potion. Room I've been to. What's here? Well, I can't 
pick. This is character's quarters. Where he has books. And a safe, more importantly. They're very rattly locked by the sound of it. Far too many tumblers in this lock. How valuable is the loot behind this that you need 27 tumblers? Well, not bad, not bad. And another key to your doors, okay. Oh, you got a hammer. Where do you have a hammer? You're supposed to be mechanists, not hammers. And another healing potion, that's nice. If I fall, run afoul of the guards here, I now have enough healing. So that room's changed slightly uh, in the final version of the map and has a terrible secret. You ask it to recall itself. Nay, you tear it down and begin anew. You, sir, in my way. Don't fall in the fire and kill yourself. No, that would be bad. Go sleep on the bed. I'll take your money. So, another fireplace that I can uh, climb around in. And again, these, these fireplaces are kind of back ways around the map. This is easy for climbing. Uh, I can go down there, or I can go further up with a little difficulty. I believe it's possible. Uh, maybe I'm misremembering. Again, can definitely get back down there. And if you get in on the top floor, I think you go down one floor and have access to these five places. So... Something moved, thought I saw. No. Where's my gas arrow? All is silence now. Silence. Text us from the squalid past. Knowledge is our weapon, with which we carve a path to an enlightened future. Oh dear, will someone really spot them? No, they walk fast. Right. Matilda said, if the foundation is weak, you wail and gnash your teeth. Go sleep there. All right, here we are on floor eight, and uh, can't go this way. Can't go that way, indeed. All the lower floors are locked off uh, in this version of the map, and there's very unfinished if you actually uh, explore down there. So that's the gutter here. So here we are, at the top floor, right? Vigilance is our shield. That protects us from the squalid past. Yep. Knowledge is our weapon. Gosh up, dude. Alright, so now we have the lights off up here and we can run around and, well. I could sneak around and pick these people's pockets, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to run around, knock them out, and take the money that way. Who's there? What the this devil is going on? Guards! Guards? Is that what you're gonna say? Help! Help! Where are you? You! Guards! Thief! Who was saying help? Someone was just saying help. Uh probably downstairs. Alright. Let's take your money. The sound is propagating oddly in uh, this version. And you, sir, did you have any money? Yes, you did. Thank you. Alright, I think I'm done with the party floor. Is that oh, also a light switch? Okay. Right. Violence is our shield that protects us from the squalid past. Knowledge is our weapon with which we carve a path to an enlightened future. I build thy retribution! Whoa, nice attack, dude. 
Okay, give me a swing there. Is your vigilance your shield? Not vigilant, not enough. Whatever that. I am no good at the uh, sassy talking to guards, you know, the quips. Is this a thief I see before me? Yep. Well, well spotted. Money? Yes. Money? Yes. I don't need your tray, but I do want your glasses there. Goblets. And your cheese. And I don't want your book. Alright. I've almost explored this entirety of uh, what this is on the map. There's someone else there. Oh, it's a servant. Oh, it's the one that was hiding in the kitchen before. Yeah, that's the kitchen. You can sleep there. I think that is all the guards. We have some more loot. And some deer. Deer leg. That's not valuable. That's the kitchen. As I noted before, I probably forgot. Uh, that's the library. This is the office. Should come to me in just a second because I've forgotten something. No, let's go in. No, let's go in. Let us go in. Office key. Right, so our objective is to locate and steal the mechanistic schematics from in the office. So here we are in the office. Looks very fancy, gear shaped, skylight, big statues, and a desk. Doesn't look very comfortable to be honest, but this painting does look suspicious, does it not? Where's that key again? Nope. Oh, what does this switch do? Time to get the goods and get out of here while I still right, sets off the alarm. Great. Right, let's go back out the way we came in. If I can never get the ladder. <laughs> Ouch. Alright, close enough. This steam, you know, breaks all video game traditions of steam will burn you and you must find a lever to turn it off. But I'm not overly fussed. Come on, get out. And get back to the city, which we are now complete. So I missed a couple of spots. I think I missed the Carlisle Armory if it was there. Um, don't remember if it was in the demo or not, but uh, certainly in the final mission. I got the key to it. But the other, the other place, uh, that's certainly one place you can use the sunburst device is to blow open the armory doors before you even get to the tower. And in the final mission, there's a lot more to do in the tower, and uh, I won't spoil any of it, but it's. Uh, you do actually have to traverse all the way back to the bell tower where you started. But the. The city in this version um, is quite a lot less linear. There's, there's generally uh, a bunch more paths that they had to cut out of the final mission. I don't know whether because it was, you know, people, players were getting lost, or whether it was just because of um, uh, running into the limits of the engine in terms of uh, how many brushes they could have and things like that. There's, they there were pretty severe limits in the. Uh, big to engine and I do believe uh, this level is one of the biggest and was almost certainly running into some of the limits. Well I got two airborne knockouts. Um, it's a stat you only ever see. It doesn't doesn't show the uh, stat unless you actually get airborne knockouts. A little bonus. Uh, I did miss one secret and I can't remember which. Now this iron beast destroyed zero disabled zero was always a uh, curiosity to me when I was first playing in the demo because there are no iron beasts in this map in the demo and I had no idea what it was talking about 
only found out when I actually played the full game. I missed a ton of loot, 435. Um, and of course, uh, oh, three others killed. Two spiders, yeah, two spiders, and I did kill one guard who was just glitched and annoying me. So, that is the Thief 2 demo. And, uh, well, I liked it enough to play the heck out of Thief 2 and then later Thief the Dark Project. And now, uh, vanished stuff. Uh, I'm gonna end this recording here. It's longer than my typical episode, but the mission is short enough that I decided to just do it in one sitting rather than split it up. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you here for the next game.